there, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to participate in the open collab hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. And this collab is hosted by my good friend Marianne from Marianne's Craft Corner and Raina from Lilo Crafts. So um, I love making embellishments. I'm really into making Halloween as a lot of us are. But I was inspired this week by making some pastel -oween or pink -oween. Um, I found these really fun um, dimensional sort of foam stickers at Target recently, and they were in a lot of the pastel Halloween colors. And that got me thinking about taking out um, one of my favorite paper pads, and it's Pinkaboo. It came out by Craftsmart um, a year or so ago, and it's got all of these beautiful Halloween um, pastel colors, pink, purple, um, like a very uh, soft mint color, and spider webs, and skulls, and pumpkins, and just a really fun paper uh, collection. This is the 12 by 12 pad. Um, and then to go with it, I took out um, this watercolor paper pad from Recollections to do some paper layering on the um, embellishments that I made. And then finally, as far as the paper goes, this holographic mat stack from DCWV. So before I get into also showing my dies and then showing the embellishments I made, I just want to encourage you to follow that hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays to see all the other crafters that are creating for this open collab. It's so much fun. Um, and I will link Mary Ann and Raina's channel in my description box below. Please be sure to check out their channels. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to do that because they're really amazing paper crafters. And um, I'm so uh, happy that they host this collab every Wednesday. Um, so in addition to these papers, I also uh, pulled out some dies. Um, this is Tim Holtz spider web, which is an absolutely beautiful die. It cuts like butter. And, um, you know, if you need spider webs, this is a great, great die to use. Um, this is one of my favorite ghost dies, and this is from Memory Box. It's Swirling Ghosts. Um, I used a Avery L, um, the spider web here um, from this Boo collection. I, of course, have the coordinating dies. You know me with the dies. I didn't do any stamping, but I did... Um, use the spider web die and then a couple of um nesting torn edge dies uh, that i picked up on amazon um so let's get into it and i will share the pastelloween pinkoween halloween embellishments that i made for this week's embellish with us wednesdays so here is one of the first ones that I created as far as the embellishments. Um, what I like about making this size of embellishment is perfect for layering on a card front. That was what I was thinking about when I created this size. It is larger than an ATC. You can see uh, this is the size of an ATC, so it's larger than that, but perfect for layering up on a card front. Um, this is that puffy... the some one of the puffy stickers that I talked about that um, I found at a Target. I think it was like a bag of like maybe 200 or 300 foam pastel kind of colored Halloween. I thought it was so much fun um, because you don't always see pastel colors uh, for Halloween, but um, you know, it made me pull out that uh, craft smart pad that I had. This is another one of the foam. These are two more of the foam stickers, the stars. Um, that's uh, the ghost from the memory box. Um, and then I cut him out on the holographic paper. 
Um, this is uh, some of the paper from that Craft Smart Pinkaboo collection, and it's layered up on the watercolor um, paper, which those papers in that pad are so beautiful because they're like a mixture of pinks and greens and blues, and they're sort of blended together really to give that great watercolor effect. Now, I took out googly eyes for these ghosts because um, they needed googly eyes, and so that was that. It just, they called for that. They needed it, and uh, I really got out my box of uh, probably about three million googly eyes and found the right size for these little ghosts. So that's my first one. Now this is Happy Fright Night and the bat is one of those puffy stickers along with those glittery stars. The spider web is one from that um, Avery Elbow collection. I did add a few um, of my favorite little rhinestones and those are of course from Stampin' Up. And um, yeah, I mean just really adorable. Uh, stickers that would be perfect for Halloween embellishments, and I thought he was a very cute bat. He looks like he has googly eyes, but in fact he does not. Um, those are just the eyes that came on that sticker. So, um, you know, great little dimension to those puffy stickers, um, sort of foam stickers, and I love that extra dimension that you get there with that. Now, this one um, is one of the dimensional stickers, the little um, headstone that says Eek. And then I, um, again, cut out that spider web with the holographic paper. Um, this is actually a spider web paper, though, that is beautiful shades of pink with gold foiling. So I thought that silver foiling just gave it another additional pop. And then I added some of the white ghosts there and a little holographic ghost. Um, and that would be so much fun on the front of a card. So Now this is one of the largest stickers in that um, those sticker collections there. And this is a very sparkly silver sparkle trick or treat. And then the cat head. Um, and I put him behind, again, one of those spider webs because I thought the spider webs are so versatile. But you can see the pretty uh, skull paper there is all on a gold foiling. The skulls are in pink, which bring out the pink in this watercolor. You can see that it's sort of a two-toned. There's the pink on the bottom, blue on the top. I love that. And again, the dimension from those foam stickers is so much fun. And here's a little ghost with the moon and star, all of the dimensional puffy. Here I've cut out some holographic circles because you know I don't like to waste holographic paper. And my big thing to do with my scraps is pull out my little um, hole punch and kind of use every bit of the scraps so that nothing goes to waste, particularly with um, you know, specialty papers, um, and then a little happy haunting and some more of those Stampin' Up! rhinestones. Here's a little soft blue pumpkin, and this is the first look at that um, Tim Holtz spider web die. You can see how what a great spider web that cuts out. I, I didn't really want to trim any of that off, so I left it even coming off the edges because it's such an amazing spider web die. I wanted to show as much of it as I could. Now, this is a really pretty pattern paper there with the pastel pumpkins. So I added the, that soft blue pumpkin on the blue base. Um, and then also added a few of those rhinestones, but the star of this particular embellishment, of course, is that great spider web die. 
cut with holographic paper. Look at all the shine that you get there from that beautiful paper. And here's one where the sticker is sort of a iridescent um, in different turns. It, it goes from like a purple to a pink. Um, and that's one of the foam stickers. So I thought that was actually amazing on this pattern paper with the sugar skulls and then a simple trick or treat that I stamped and cut out there and added that on gold foiling. But um, I'm hoping the camera picks up that it, it does sort of change colors depending on the lighting, which I thought was great. These are some flat backs that I had in my stash. And again, the stamping up uh, rhinestones that I love to use. And then the final one is a potion bottle um, with a spider and uh, the ghosts where the eyes, I have backed uh, those ghost eyes with the holographic paper. The witch hat is another one of the foam stickers and then a simple trick or treat. And that is on the shades of lavender paper from that um, watercolor paper pad. So all in all, I made five embellishments for this week. I hope you enjoyed taking a look. If you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again to Raina and Mary Ann for hosting, and I will see you next time.